and uh, I am taking a break from public transport this weekend because I've got my friend and comedian, Carrie Ann, the redneck comedian, who came back from America yesterday. She lives in Norwich as well, and uh, her and I are on the road together. We are driving all the way up to Scotland because I'm doing, well, we are doing the Grief Comedy Festival. I'm at the Grief Golf Course. Uh, yeah, basically it's an eight-hour drive with no air conditioning, so we're literally in hell, and uh, we've just been seeing songs to keep uh, carry on away because she's seriously jet lag. so it's good to uh, it's good to end really badly. Uh, so yeah, and then uh, I'm performing in uh, at the Jesterville, 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 whatever, comedy festival in Newcastle on Saturday night. I'm doing my actual sideshow at both venues. So uh, yeah, come out. Uh, tickets are through TanyaLeeDavis.com or through the various venues. Uh, yeah, we're having fun. I'm uh, Touch base, and I'll let you know what's been going on with the Scooter Girl campaign. We got lots of cool updates. All right, pausing this. So, you may have uh, heard that they came out with a new um, report that disability persons travel a lot, like to see something or other. Can't keep up with all the terminology. Well, they wrote this big, huge, long report saying that they're going to spend 300 million pounds to help with uh, disabled travel. And, you know, that's a great initiative. But you know what? I, I was searching through my emails because I started the Scooter Girl campaign in 2010. And I had been trying to get some help and get that off the ground. But, you know, I didn't have any videos of anything uh, last time. So it really didn't take off. But I do have a letter from the disabled persons travel advocacy, blah, blah, blah. And from 2010, they sent me a report back then saying all the things that they wanted to do to help disabled people. And here we are in 2018, and we're running into situations um, like the ones I've been facing just within the last week, and that's you know, just a dime a dozen. So, you know, they keep, they keep, keep coming up with these reports, patting themselves on the back, but until they actually do something, you know, uh, many disabled people are still stranded. One of the things in the report that they were commending themselves on is all of our taxis are now, you know, wheelchair accessible. Yeah, that's fantastic, but you know what? Many taxi drivers refuse to pick up people with wheelchairs, or definitely people with mobility scooters. I mean, it's so difficult, unless I'm at a taxi, right, where they have no choice. If I'm trying to flag a taxi down on the road, I actually had to hide behind the bus bench or uh, like go around the corner and get my partner or whoever I'm with to flag the taxi and open the back door and then I come zipping out of the shadows. And you can always see the look of just like, oh gosh, you know, on the look of the driver's face. So it's not just about implementing policies, it's about, you know, attitudes and stuff like that that need to be worked on. Uh, lots of good things are happening. Uh, <clears throat> once again, I appreciate all the... the um, support that I've received. Thank you for everybody who's tweeting and reposting. You know, I support the hashtag Scooter Girl campaign. I'm going to see about getting some badges made. If you know anybody that makes badges, um, I've had trained staff contact me saying that they would, would like to show their support, which is uh, so fantastic. So, uh, yeah, that's great. I had some meetings yesterday with various people, production stuff. We've got some other things in the pipeline. So stay tuned, it's really exciting, and thanks again for all your support, and I'll be in touch soon, everybody. Hopefully we'll make it to Scotland without being so dehydrated. Looking like a Thanks, guys. See you soon.